welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic, and manifestation. Hi loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. We're going to be diving into Divine Feminine Energy. For those of you guys wondering what is it I'm doing, I'm cutting and cleansing the deck to get it ready for our reading. I'm going to speak a blessing over the cards and see what messages our angels and our guides have for us at this moment in time when it comes to Divine Feminine Energy. If you're a Divine Feminine, this is, um, is going to speak to the highest parts of you. And if you are a masculine person, when it comes to Divine Feminine, it could be talking about um, a Divine Feminine in your life. But it can also be talking about the parts of you that need to be open and willing to receive, to attract, to magnetize. My intention is to do a video in the near future, very near future, or a podcast on what exactly is the difference between divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So I will be doing that, but I've been pretty busy working the apothecary per usual and doing daily readings. So I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath with me. Angels and gods from the highest life of the universe, I call out to you now for a message. I ask that you talk directly to me through the cards. Talk to me about divine feminine energy. What is it that she needs to hear, see, and receive the most now? Three of Swords Reverse, Four of Wands Upright, Seven of Swords Reverse, Nine of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands Reverse, and the Tower card. As soon as I was thinking about, as soon as I heard the this word punishment, the Tower card jumped out. Um, Divine Feminine Energy, I'm hearing that you're not you're not being punished or you're not supposed to be punished. I don't know why. That's the first thing that's coming through here. Some of you guys are, I heard earthquaking. I don't know why I'm hearing the energy, um, that word earthquaking. It's like, I feel the earth move under my skin. I don't know why when I'm looking at four of wands, I'm seeing two people kind of holding on to each other in the midst of an earthquake, which actually makes sense with the tower card here. Um, it feels like something's kind of shaking up the foundation right now, shaking up the ground beneath you. Some of you guys are, are really, I'm hearing, uh, Spirit wants you to be really careful about your feminine side tapping too much into masculine where you are um, f not fighting, but you are... trying to protect or showing up as the protector when this is a reminder that you are divine feminine there's a reason why you're listening to this reading right now so tap deeper into your divine feminine energy um seven of swords is reversed is um i'm hearing incomplete incompatible so these this might be energies that are around you right now that do not um, maybe don't show up in the way that, so you have to over, like, 
they you may have to you find yourself that you're overcompensating for certain things and the tower card is a, an abrupt deviation from that it has to earthquake like spirit is talking about um shaking that down like shaking it and breaking it down because we want to be really careful about the foundation that we're building here. Um, I'm hearing a house is built of love um, and stone, like not just stone, but love. So this is how we show up. The role, how the roles that we show up um, for the things that is that we love. This foundation could be that for your work, it could be for your marriage, it could be for your health, it could be fill in the blank. Some of you guys have learned a long time, and this is starting to change, how to be self-sufficient, how to stand alone, or what makes you feel um, not stabilized, but like when you are accustomed to uh, things kind of being a certain way that you just kind of expect certain things. I don't know why I'm hearing like, let's say if this is a relationship, then this is that mindset of the man is supposed to do this and the feminine is supposed to do this or the, the wife is supposed to do this or whatever. It's like the traditional roles. So you are expecting um, certain things to kind of show up in a specific way. Um, and I, I'm really hearing being very clear on those expectations and those standards or else it will create tension or it, it like, it's like, I don't, I'm hearing like it'll create the guidelines. Like I'm writing it. I want to write it down. What are the guidelines? Um, and the fact that spirit has me wanting to like write it down makes me feel like this is something that needs to be set in stone and that these are going to be the guidelines for this um, I'm hearing, um, like, I, I'm hearing importance. Like, this is actually very important. It's very important that you write this down. Um, something that's standing out to me, like a thought that is that I'm having. This is not an intuitive message, but this is just a thought that I'm having. Um, me as your friend, not as your intuitive reader. Um, I'm just looking at the seeds that come from this watermelon and how this person could eat those seeds and spit them out and they will fall and maybe they'll be watered. Then you have this bird and then that bird could pick up the seeds and then shit them out. <laughs> and wherever the seeds fall, they'll grow. And who know who knows what like who's what's gonna grow and what isn't gonna grow. But I, I really do feel looking at this, it's a reminder of like the seeds that we plant and how they grow and where we put them and what we build with them. And it reminds me of the foundation and talking about expectations. What do I need? And do you know what you need? What do you, when this happened, how did you, when seven of swords, like when you see seven of swords reverse, when you see someone um, not doing, I'm just hearing like they're mustering up the strength, but it doesn't feel strong enough. Or when you hear, see something that you don't necessarily agree with, what does it trigger within you? Like what does it, and can you do can do you have the ability to articulate or do you know what to say that you expect like do you know how to say what you're expecting right now let's say this is a partner you're in a relationship and it's a brand new relationship and um i don't know why i'm getting like teenager type of energies like when you have a crush on someone or new love and you expect this person to hold your hand and they 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 don't want to hold your hand walking down the hallways, but they're very loud and they're playing around with their friends. Like when they see their friends, they think that they're showing you off and that's the way that they show love when you're just like, well, I actually didn't want that. I would have preferred you to hold my hand. And so basically it's like expectations. So someone's way of showing that they're proud and that they love you may deviate from, think about, like it may deviate from what you would expect. Think about the watermelon here. Like there's all types of watermelons. Like when I say melon, when I say the word melon, do you think watermelon? Do you think cantaloupe? Do you think honeydew? 
Um, do you think of a yellow watermelon? I've seen those before. Like, so talk about the expectation. If I sat, if you sat down in a relationship or divine feminine, if you sat down at a collaborative table and you said melon and you asked everybody at that table to draw melon, would they all draw watermelons? Would that watermelon be cut open? Would that watermelon be like, a, would it have vines on it? Everybody has a different concept when they hear the word melon. So if you have a specific requirement or expectation, Divine Feminine, talk about what you actually want drawn here so that the person or that the group or that the doctor can do, can follow through on, on your expectation. And it's not just like you walking away being like, fuck, you know? There's something about expectation here that is not being seen. We have the moon card and we have the judgment card here. The moon card is the one that's upright and judgment is reversed. So there's something here that we're not clear on. Or divine feminine, you may not, you may actually need a little bit of time um, and let your wall down here, divine feminine. Some of you guys are not ready or willing to let someone in to hear what your expectations are because you would have to admit it or they may fail you or you may be vulnerable or you have to lean on that person or you have to confess your sin whatever whatever it is um but something about laying the the um the core foundations down and the expectation is going to change the situation for the better we have the wheel of fortune card here okay um, that was a really fast reading, if this is going to be it. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, I have this, I don't know why I want to tell you guys this. I'm not promoting, I promise. But this hoodie that I have on right now is, it says, Sisterhood is a form of therapy. Sisterhood is a form of therapy. And I got it from a shop. Um, I forget the name of the shop. It's a girl who I met through a friend of someone that I was dating when I was in New Orleans. Um, but... Basically, I want to say that to you because maybe you need to talk to your friends about literally some or your close your close people or your tribe about something that you're feeling on your heart. I don't know why I just felt so called to look down at my sweater and just look at the fact that it says sisterhood is a form of therapy. So maybe divine feminine, you could really use some sisterhood right now. You could really use some valuable connections. Um... I don't know why I heard the word morose, morose, M-O-R-O-S-E, but maybe you could find, maybe it's about talking to someone about, not therapy, guys, but like an actual friendship, like actual friendships, actual connections. In that case, just talking about things and laughing about like how crazy and weird we all are. <laughs> it is a form of thing. Yeah, two of cups. I feel like you're kind of missing that or you've been missing an action from that um this card was originally reversed as was the ace of wands it's like finding people or girls or sisterhood divine feminine that you can go to to not complain but let your hair down and relax and ease and just have like talks like the talks about your emotions talk about your feelings listening to each other so it's not just you. Yeah, Three of Swords is coming up reverse. It just helps to ease off any... Some of you guys might actually be in the house. Um, you've been in the house or isolated for a little bit or just kind of taking care of your responsibilities. And there's this message about getting out um, and linking up. And that's the Ace of Wands, like the, the spark, the fire to do that. Um, so there's that message too. Divine Spirit really wants Divine Feminine to get out and about. I got this new Oracle deck. Um, I'm going to end it with this um, Oracle card. It's the Southern Botanic Oracle. It's really been inspiring me lately, to be honest with you. I'm, it's just been in my spirit lately to kind of create an Oracle deck, but I'm making sure that my cup is completely filled before I try to create anything. And also, I'm really careful about how I spend my time. But um, I say all that to say that like, Oh my goodness, this deck is so beautiful, and I'm just like, I just got it today. So I'm excited to shuffle for you guys. Okay, spirit, 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 talk to Divine Feminine. What is the main message? This one right here. Wow. 
Hickory, release and letting go. Interesting. I don't know why I'm getting a vision of like someone just kind of like climbing this tree or constantly climbing this tree and I don't know why I'm seeing them doing it barefoot without any pants on. Like you have pants on but maybe they're like shorts. So it just feels very exposed, like your legs feel very exposed. And I feel like maybe you learned how to climb trees and you do it the hard way. There's people who use tools and there's people who have learned like they didn't have the money to get those tools or tree climbing tools. They don't need them anyways. They just know how to climb up a tree barefoot. But it kind of like pricks you and it kind of slips and you might break a nail while you're doing it. It just seems like there's a lot of things that it would require the way that you've done it by yourself thus far. And maybe it's time to consider a different route. Like what if it's time to consider a different way of doing things, a different way of accomplishing a task? Um, maybe, I don't want to say that you've done things the hard way, but something very similar to doing things one way and then having resources around now that help you to accomplish your task, you know, like to, or to hit your goal or to get you to the next level or to help you to connect or take your relationship to whatever, you know, and with release and letting go, I just feel like release and letting go the old patterns and the old ways that you've learned how to do things and maybe be a little bit more considerate or open to a new way. Especially with four plus two is breaking down into six and it's just giving me the lovers. Okay. Hickory. All right, let's see what we have here. All right. Um, could there wow, wow, wow. Whoa! Oh my God, you guys, I'm sorry. Watermelon, look what I just accidentally happened to fall on. Watermelon. And the reason why I even looked at six is because I said six. The card is actually number 24, but four, remember I was just saying four, five, six, six is the lovers. And then I just looked at number six accidentally, subconsciously, just going with the flow and it's watermelon, even though it's not. But literally we're just talking about watermelon. So now we need to read this. Yeah, responsibility and empathy. Holy shit, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like so blown away by that. That is not a coincidence. Okay, divine feminine. Could there possibly be a juicier, more delicious, more thirst-quenching fruit on earth than the watermelon? As humble and accessible as this melon is, it sure does taste like the food of the gods. And yet, for over a century, a large percent percentage of Americans have mocked and bel have been belittled for enjoying it. Oh, we doing this today, huh? Okay. All right. There is a nasty and persistent stereotype of African Americans being overly fond of watermelon. Okay. <laughs> Are we sure we I don't know. I'm getting triggered. Okay. After enslaved people won their emancipation following the Civil War, many free black people grew, consumed, and sold watermelons, and this inadvertently made the fruit a symbol of their freedom. Racist whites reacted by making the fruit a symbol of their perceived childishness, laziness, and poverty. If you draw the watermelon, I'm so triggered right now. Like, I okay. Um, also, this is a new deck, so I, I'm reading it for the first time. Well, second time, third. If you draw the watermelon card, consider ways that you're using your creativity and resources to make it rain for yourself and your family. What an interesting way that she phrased that. Okay. Seek ways to deepen your empathy for others by observing the ways that people use the blessings in their lives to better their world. So I don't know how to feel about this right now, but I, I'm going to need some time to just kind of sit with it, just being totally transparent and honest with you. What I'm going to say is that I feel, <laughs> I feel like with the watermelon card, I am, or the, with the fact that watermelon came back, it comes uh, as a message to what it was I was talking about with watermelon. But if you received something from that just now, um, then I love that for you. I, I got to sit with it, though. Okay. Um, I just, I'm having a hard time getting past the other thing, but all right. Um, but, you know, it is the South. I'll give that that. The Southern Botanic, and that was a big part of Southern history, but I just don't like, okay, we'll move past. All right, Hickory. <laughs> this is like, now this card is like, girl, let it go. <laughs> Release it and let it go. All right, fine. 
Uh, <clears throat> All right. In the South, hickory wood chips are a mainstay of barbecue culture. The wood adds a deep, pungent flavor and dark brown color to smoked meats. Many of the woods in the genius Caria, I've never heard of that before, provide the this excellent wood smoke, including pecan, which is a distant relative. Shag bark hickory wood also burns longer. Hickory smoke is a preferred choice, not for just smoking meat, but cheese is another delicacies too. Mm, I love cheese. Okay. Are you guys, can you guys eat cheese? Just wondering. Let me know in the comments. Just curious. Okay. Um, the hickory card compels us to release something we have been holding on to in the way that hickory wood releases its richly scented smoke. Wow. Perhaps you feel a need to unburden yourself to let go of something that's been bubbling inside of you and creating unnecessary pressure. You are entering into a moment of new beginnings and for your journey, you will not require heavy baggage. You are free to release those things which no longer serve you. I love that. So pretty much just let it go. Just let it go. All right, Divine Feminine. Um, I'm just gonna shuffle one more card and see what Spirit says that they want you to let go of. King of Swords, yeah. The the defense, the sharpness, the your mouth, <laughs> the mouth, the tongue, speaking up for yourself, silence. Um, really stand up for yourself. Sometimes you're not going to be liked for what it is that you say, um, but you got to say it. Um, you got to do it. Um, or find the right way to say what it is that you need to say, especially with release. Release it, like communication. But everyone's message is going to be so different. All right, my loves, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Before I do, I just want to invite you to um, to subscribe to Bahati Love Notes. Um, basically, it's my daily subscription. Well, it's $5 a month, but it's a daily subscription service where I shuffle for you guys every single day. I pull cards from the tarot. I sit with it for as long as necessary, and then I share those channeled messages with you, not only on Instagram, but also they'll be sent to you via email or if you don't, want to check your emails, you're like me, I get it. Um, you can find it on the, the blog post. Um, I want to also invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I will be shuffling and pulling for Divine Masculine next. Okay, I'm sending you guys all of my love. If you need me, you know where to find me. I'm going to be at BahadiLife.com, work my magic per usual for myself and for my clients. I'll talk to you later. Bye.